For the Zip Digital Network, Chad Welker here with head men's basketball coach, Coach John Gross. And Coach, uh, 2-0 to start the American Conference play. Big win at uh, Ypsilanti in Eastern Michigan, and then nice home win against Western Michigan. Uh, just recap those two victories. Yeah, I, th I think certainly coming back from the holidays, if you go back to the UMass game and include the two MAC games that we've played, we've started to play better. Um, you know, I didn't think we played great in D.C., but we're able to find a way to split there. And then uh, got back home here and really started to dial in on some things that we thought could make our team better. The guys have really bought into that. Uh, guys have really accepted and embraced roles and, you know, had very much of an ownership mentality of where we're working really hard to shore up some areas and continue to get better and grow every day. We've done that. And uh, I still think we got a lot of room for improvement. You know, obviously my biggest concern is our, you know, defensive uh, efficiency rating in the second half of three of the last four games has not been our, uh, near our standard. So we've got a lot of room for improvement, but we've done some good things. Our guys are coachable. I really like our group. And I think we've got a chance to continue to play uh, even better than we have at this point. Lauren Christian Jackson, back-to-back 20-point-plus -back, uh, games. He was MAC East Player of the Week. Uh, just got to love the leadership and what he brings to your, your squad. No question. You know, he's our quarterback. I've said that over and over here recently. And, um, you know, he's done a great job of making sure that we're ready to play and guys are locked in and, you know, obviously thinks the game really well. He's been with me now two-plus years. So, you know, we have a good feel for each other and kind of what, you know, I expect and, and um, you know how he sees the game. He and I've you know we've gotten used to used to each other. You know, and so I trust his judgment. And um, you know I feel pretty good when he's got the ball in his hands. And then obviously he's the front front porch of our defense as well, Chad, and has done a good job being disruptive there. And then uh, your depth of a uh, uh, see Michael Dawson's getting in. Uh, you started uh, Tyler Cheese as one of your starters, but able to pull Ali Ali off the bench and. Uh, Greg Tribble, but a lot of depth that you got to and able to use over the course. Of yeah, the and even sales. I thought, although he played a couple minutes the other day, I thought he was productive in those couple minutes. And you know, we're right now we're rolling with ten guys in the rotation, and you know, the game each game's different. And, you know, we have the ability to play big and small, and you know, uh, like you said, you know, a few weeks ago, Zarius was Mackey's Player of the Week. And then this past week, it was Christian, and the other night, Cheese and Jackson had over twenty, and. At Marshall, it was Williams and Jackson, and you know Banks had a great game uh, from a scoring production standpoint here against UMass and led us in scoring. We've got, you know, a lot of different options, a lot of ways that we can beat you on that end of the floor, and our guys are very unselfish, and uh, you know that's a sign of a, you know, a team that really cares about each other, enjoys playing with each other. You know, I thought our ball movement in particular in the Western Michigan game was really good, and we're taking care of the ball better. Now we get to move forward to Ball State on Friday. It's a 9 o'clock game. Uh, it'll be on CBS Sports Network, but obviously, fans, we want you here at James A. Rhodes Arena. What are some of the challenges that the Cardinals pose for the Zips? Well, defensively, they're number one in the league. They're really hard to score against. Uh, James does a good job with them defensively. They're very physical, and um, you, know, you can just tell from watching them. They're very connected, and they play really well on that end of the floor. And then offensively, I just think they've gotten better and better and better as the seasons wore on. And... Um, you know, they're getting guys to step up and make a lot of different plays. And a little bit like us, you know, they, they've got some balanced scoring and they can hit you from a lot of different spots. You obviously, T, get your attention, you know, uh, El Amin with the 15 point per game average. But I, but I think they've got other guys as well that can, you know, in a given game that can make threes or hit you for double figures and, and uh, do it a variety of ways, posting it, driving it, shooting it. So, you know, I really like their team. It'll be a great challenge for us. And then the Zips head to DeKalb next Tuesday night against Northern Illinois. And I know Coach is only focused on uh, one game at a time, so we won't ask him about that. But, of course, uh, we want to make sure uh, that you watch that game on ESPN3 or ESPN Plus next week. Coach, appreciate the time as always. And fans, of course, we want to see you here Friday night as the Zips battle need the Cardinals. We to emphasize that. Yeah, you we know, need to, you need to you know, be our here. Our crowd's been unbelievable. UMass, I went, you know, after the game, talked about what a difference they made, Chad. I mean, it were unbelievable. They truly were like a sixth man. And then we had a good crowd in the, in the home opener the other night. Both times we, the students aren't even back yet, you know, because we don't start classes till Monday. So can't thank Zips Nation enough, and hopefully we'll have another great turnout uh, uh, tomorrow night. And I know it's a late game, but at least Saturday most people have that day off so they can sleep in. Thanks you for your time, Coach. See you uh, tomorrow night, and as always, go Zips.